morning and welcome back to the Legend of Zelda. Today we're doing something. I don't remember where we're at. I know we were farming up some stuff. I feel like we farmed up enough food. So now we need to actually do a quest. So we need more hearts. So we need to be able to do that. And we need to take out a divine beast. Maybe we should do the divine beast quest. Sort of close to it already. Okay, let's do... Let's work towards the Divine Beast. We have not uh, not done that yet. And we need 13 hearts to get the um, Master Sword. And I'm guessing we need that to take on Ganon. So, goals for today. I doubt we'll achieve either of those. Swaddle's here. Good morning, Swaddle. First one in. How's it going this morning? Sorry, I gotta move move some stuff over here. Bear with me one second. He had a sick ad break. I turned ad breaks off, so that ad is not my fault. That must just be a regular Twitch ad. I turned I turned ads off, so that's not me. But I'm sorry about that. Tired? I imagine so. Newborn staying up or just general tired parentness, because I assume both are applicable. Oh, it's one of those fire mage dudes. I don't think I have the stuff to take this guy on. Maybe we can ignore him. Let's see if we can get up here and just miss the fire mage. I don't feel like being lit on fire this morning. Grab a quark seed though. Nah, he woke up early and just tired parent. <laughs> there is no end to the tired parent experience. I used my only uh, Rivali's Gale. Okay. I don't think he saw me. Nope, I think he saw me. What did he just do? Ooh, he was lighting everything on fire. Did he summon like a meteor storm? It's pretty cool, but also, also not. Okay. Got him. Makes me want to play Final Fantasy Tactics really bad. Because Final Fantasy Tactics, you could summon like those meteor storms. And they were super awesome. Alright, we're out of arrows. Let's go, um, let's go buy some arrows really quick. Uh, yeah, that's, that's another game I'm going to be playing here soon, I think, is um, Final Fantasy Tactics. Because I really miss... Really miss a lot of the cool stuff from Final Fantasy Tactics. And one of the, um... One of the leaks of the Game Boy, Game Boy Advance Switch games that are possibly coming out is that we're going to get to play Ogre's Tactics, which is like Final Fantasy Tactics, I guess the precursor, and I never got to play that. Troll King, welcome in. How's it going this morning? You have an opportunity to premiere something? You got another troll level set up? Alright, let's find Beetle. Of course he's not. Oh, wait. No. Where'd Beetle go? Tactics 2, was that Ogre Tactics 2 or Final Fantasy Tactics 2? I am in the Pacific time zone. Located in Oregon. I am not seeing Beetle at all. 
Beetle, come here. I need I need arrows really bad. Okay, I know that he sometimes walks along the trail, so I might have to go go chase him down. There he is. No, maybe? Is that Beetle? No, Beetle carries something on his back. Okay, let's go a little bit down the trail. Maybe we'll run into him. The premiere is going to be the 2nd of May, uh, 12.23 p.m. Trollcastle 25. Uh, what day is the 2nd of May? Is that a weekend? I shouldn't be wasting my guardian sword. Thank you. It's a Monday? If it's at noon on a Monday, there's there's no way I'll be able to play it right away, but I can probably play it the day after. Um, but I'll be at work at that time, so I don't think they'll let me. <laughs> Oh, there's a blood moon coming. That is really not good. Okay. I do not see beetle, and I want to go to the desert. But I need arrows first, so... Let's grab the moblin stuff. Uh, here comes the blood moon. We're going to go over here. No blood moon for me. We're just going to go get prepped and get our stuff. There was an overwhelming urge to go by um, Elden Ring and start playing that, but I figured I should at least beat one of the games before I move on. And then we've got... Um, the new Pokemon run coming up here soon, so I figured I should actually beat one of my games before I jump right into another one. I love the Blood Moon cutscene. It's just the perfect amount of spooky, the perfect amount of tension, cool, everything about it. The Blood Moon is one of the coolest events. By the way, uh, Swaddle, if you can, is the volume on everything okay? I noticed on my last stream that you couldn't hear the game very well. Are you able to hear the game and me uh, decently well? I'm still kind of tweaking the audio mixer to a degree. You just have 10 games going. <laughs> I mean, that is that is the urge, but trying to be a good streamer and actually finish what I start. <laughs> All right. Uh, we're going to need to wait till day. Everything seems okay? Excellent. Maybe we can cook a little bit until day, if there's fire. Alright, got my protection back. Revolve's Gale. Nice. Okay. Arrows, arrows, arrows. I know we were saving up for a house, but I also kind of want to buy the armor set. There we go. Didn't load in at first. Isn't there metal armor? Yes. Might as well complete all the armor sets since I haven't done that yet. Some armor. We can upgrade those at the Great Fairy Princess. There we go. <clears throat> okay. Now, arrows. Do you not have any more arrows in stock? Oh, that's right. I just was here, wasn't I? Oh, um. 
Let's go there. Let's see if there's arrows over there. A streamer called out one of my trolls before it happened and still got them. You know you've done a well when you're a troll level creator in that scenario. That is excellent. I'm glad people are enjoying those levels. They're a ton of fun to play. In fact, I, I played one um, on stream. I don't think you were here for that. I've got a bunch of clips I still need to send you from that one as well. I really enjoy the troll levels. All right, let's find some arrows over here. And then for the desert, um, I don't know how to stay cool in the desert. Do I just need to take my armor off? Or is there a specific armor for staying cool in the desert? Does anyone know? Because I know I walked over there once before and it was way too hot. But is that going to be something I can beat? Or do I just need to push through the desert to buy the clothes while I'm there? Ah, arrows. All of them. Yes. And these ones. Okay. Got our arrows. We got some fire arrows. That's okay. You're waiting for me to play one of your levels so I can do upside down controller. That's mean. Let's take some goat butter. Grab some bird eggs and some carrots. There we go. Money well spent. Now let's go prep up for the battles ahead. I love the cooking so much. I know every time I play this game, I say I love the cooking so much, but I really do love the cooking so much. Uh, let's sort my inventory. Palm fruit. Increase your heart recovery when used as an ingredient. Perfect. Throw it in with the apples. I don't know if they could make a whole game out of the cooking. I'm pretty sure that's just cooking mama, but... Uh, I would love a whole game of just the cooking, harvesting ingredients, cooking, all of it. Ooh, I made something new. Hearty steamed meat with full recovery. Well, shoot, let's make another one of those. Did that, that, that. Egg and meat. I will take as much full recovery as I can get. Hearty steamed meat. Okay. We are definitely going to be prepped for this next Divine Beast fight. Unless I run out of arrows again. I can't believe that it's almost May. Like, it's so strange how fast the time goes. Because, like, we're basically almost, well, we're over a quarter of the way done with the year, going on to almost halfway done with the year in June, right? Like, I can't believe how fast that it's going. And I know it only gets faster as you get older, but, man. It's almost time to pay taxes again. You should play Skyrim one day? <clears throat> Excuse me. I definitely should play Skyrim one of these days. I, I got a whole bunch of mods for it to like change the experience, so I haven't played it with mods. And I honestly haven't played like base Skyrim in probably five years, so it might be time to do another Skyrim run. It has been a long time since I've done that. Time is going by so fast this year. It's... I don't know if it's because like we're finally getting out of the pandemic and they're they're opening things back up and that's what's causing it, or if it's just like I said, you're getting older and as you get older, time goes by faster. But like, you know, it used to be that like as a kid when a new game was coming out, it would be like, oh, a new game's coming out, but it's three months away. So you know, 
that's impossible to wait three months for a new game to come out. And now it's like, oh, the new WoW expansion will come out in 2024. Uh, that's just a year and a half away, right? Like that's that's not a huge deal. I can wait a year and a half for something. I just never would have seen myself waiting so long for something, and yet here we are. So something's definitely changing. I know there's people who are going with like the, the Mandela effect that are saying that the passage of time is changing altogether, but I can't quite tell if that actually is like something based in science or if that's just people reading way too much into something. That is mean. I would never be mean to streamers. <laughs> Like, I'm all for a good conspiracy theory. I love me some conspiracy theories, but I, I also like there to be uh, a little bit of truth to them, right? I can't just accept that people are saying time goes faster because of something, and that's it, you know? Uh, Dexter, welcome in, Dexter. You have bad, <laughs> terrible cell coverage at work. Well, I'm sure if you told your boss that, they would tell you that uh, you don't need cell coverage to work. <laughs> A Troll Castle Challenger got softlocked at the goal of one level. I commented if this is bad, Troll Castle 2 the 6 are officially known and referred to as the test of sanity. Troll Castles, no checkpoints. Well, I mean, a softlock's not so bad if there's no checkpoints, but if you get softlocked while you have a uh, checkpoint, that's where things get bad, right? Throw all this in here, see what we can make. Maybe something? Fried egg and rice, okay. Yeah, it's butter. If only cooking was this easy in real life. I've actually been cooking with Graveyard Girl a little bit more. Um, and I'm I'm not hating it as much as I thought it would. Like, I'm really bad at cooking, but having her there to do it with me, it makes it actually kind of fun. Well, I know we've talked about doing cooking streams in the past, but I'm really enjoying cooking with her. Mighty Salt Grilled Prime Meat grants a low-level attack boost. Okay. We're definitely going to be ready for this desert. Is there any food I can cook that will, like, cool me down? Is there? Any, I know there's, like, the, the chilies that warm me up. Is there any cooling food that I can get? I'm kind of been wasting the prime meat. I guess I should have just cooked the prime meat straight up to make some money, but we'll get that house one of these days. The mute skewers do seem to be better. Okay, I think we've cooked enough food. We got our arrows. You came outside to get decent service. You're smoking your last cigarette. This is it. This is the last cigarette. Best of luck on that. I know that's going to be a tough, tough battle, but you can do it. I've definitely been praying for you on that. And I know you can overcome it, but the first like the first three days are going to be the hardest. But if you can make it through those ones, usually it gets a little bit a little bit easier after that. But uh, is this the stable? Let's go to the stable really quick and see if we can get um, a couple more arrows before we go over there. Yeah, many people have the last cigarette ever, right? Some people have a daily last cigarette ever, so it's a big deal, but you can do it. I was there once. I, I was definitely a smoker because I worked a really, really stressful job, and it was what got me through some days was being able to go take those quick smoke breaks, but uh, all the adverse effects weren't worth it, and the one thing I have for me in spades is self-control so being able to quit cold turkey was was not too hard but i'll tell you there still are days where i will wake up and still like crave a cigarette or the taste of a cigarette like it's been 10 years i think eight or ten years so apparently that just never goes away all right Ooh, he's got a bunch of arrows Awesome. Okay. To the desert. Let's take...
we're going to go with a fashion statement. And if I can remember, here we go, map. Here we go, to the desert. I have no idea what we're going to expect out here, but I bet it's going to be fun. And then once we're done with that, we just got to do one or two more shrines to get 13 hearts. And then I guess I'm ready to take on Ganon and beat the game. And I'm assuming once you beat the game, you still have like open world to go do all the other things, right? You still have to go do 120 shrines and 900 Korok seeds and everything else, right? So I assume there's still plenty to do. Okay. Oh, speaking of shrines, there's one right down there. I guess we'll go we'll go do that. Oh, hopefully I don't run out of stamina. I think we can make this if we very carefully controlled falling. Oh, this looks like a place for a Korok seed. Oh, no, that's one of those... One of those guys. Okay. Uh, I guess let's put some clothes on to fight this guy. Uh, inventory. Let's put on my stealth suit. And I'm pretty sure if I can get on top of this guy, not only can I steal his weapons, I can um, get like a critical strike that will do a decent amount of damage. So, that's no moon. <laughs> okay, lift me onto your belly. There we go. A Moonlight Scimitar. That's exactly what we need. Uh, let's throw some garbage weapons down, like that, that, that. Grab the Scimitar. Okay. Can I critical strike him? Uh, I guess that was good enough. Okay, that worked pretty good. I used up all of my uh, stuff, but uh, we almost took him out like that, so I'll take it. I don't know if I could hit him in the eye. Oh, he's a little, a little too fast. That is not dealing any damage to him now. There we go. I'm getting way better at this game. He hasn't even hit me. Of course, now, now I just cursed myself, and now he's going to take me out one swipe, but, you know... <laughs> I totally called that. Totally called that. It doesn't count if I call it. Uh, let's see. Let's sort my food. Come on. Did my sword lose its fire? I set the weapons on fire. There we go. Pretty good fight still. Roasted trout, roasted bass. 
Um, I didn't even have. I was gonna rely on Mipha's Grace. Apparently, I didn't even have that. So, really good. I didn't need to use that. And there's the shrine. The Da Caso Shrine. All right, what do we got? I entered a um, entered a photo into a photo contest, so I will know in about a week and a half if it is the winning photo. And if I win, I get a really awesome camera, a really awesome Fujifilm camera that I, I wouldn't mind having, an X-T3. So here's hoping I have the winning photo, because I would really love to win a photo competition. It's one of those things where, like, I talk about this with Emmy all the time. A minor test of strength. Okay, we just did one of these. This shouldn't be shouldn't be too bad. Um, I've taken a lot of photos and a lot of great photos. Like I know that I've taken good photos, right? So I have no doubt there. But I have never won a photo competition, and I would really like to be able to say that I've at least won a photo competition. You know. Like, there's something about, I guess, the validation from other people being able to say, like, it's not that I think my photos are good, but, like, objectively, I've won a photo contest, so I know that my photos are good. So I'd really like to win at least one, so I can say that. But I also have art prints coming. They, they officially shipped, so I get to see what these first couple proofs look like, and I'm really excited to get to um, see my first couple art prints and get to uh, look at those and potentially sell them. So it's always a cool feeling when someone wants to buy your art. All right, that was way easier than I expected. That Guardian Sword++ plus plus is uh, no joke. Hope you win. I hope so, too. I, I submitted the beach photo. I know I've shown you guys that one a few times. Like, that is one of my most stunning photos. So it is... The, the the category is landscape, and that is very much a landscape photo. So if that one doesn't win, I can at least take it to heart saying there's no other photo I could have submitted to win. Like sometimes when you're entering a photo contest, you're torn between like, oh, I really want to enter this photo, but like I think this other photo is objectively a better photo, or you know, you have the regret of, like, ah, I wish I could have entered two because I think they're both winners. Or there's a lot of a lot of that usually when it comes to entering photo contests. So at least with this one, I know this is the best photo I could have entered. And if this one doesn't win, then none of my photos would have won. And I guess that's a good feeling. I, I, I'll put it as that's that's a good feeling. I, I did did my very best, and if that's not good enough, then I didn't have a chance of winning anyways. All right, we're going to the desert. I'm not sure if this is quite the right way to come over here, but we're doing it. All right. Maybe. Oh, I used up all of my gale. Um, that's going to be quite a climb. Actually, I have climbing gear, don't I? Will that help me out here? Where's my climbing gear? Uh, equip that. Equip that. There we go. Is it fair that you say you want to be the very best like no one ever was? Exactly. Oh, wow. This climbing gear makes a huge difference. I mean, I would love to take the photography to, like, an actual professional level and get to do it for a living, but I know in order to do that, you do have to be one of the very best, right? People don't want to hire amateur photographers for most things. They want someone who's going to be skilled at it. So I definitely want to continue to improve my skills because what an awesome ability that would be to be, like, a full-time photographer. I did apply for a couple more photography gigs, though, um one of the local colleges is hiring a photographer to do like commencement speech and like the the photos of people coming up and you know shaking the hand and taking their diploma and 
it's really easy pictures and I have the gear for it and they're paying 40 bucks an hour so and those things are usually you know three four five hours long right so that's gonna be a hefty payday if I can manage to get that job and then a, another company is hiring for product photographers someone to come out and just you know take photos of their product and I already have most of the the stuff to do that and the skill for that so hoping both of those gigs end up paying out because I would really enjoy doing both all right we're making it making it slowly but surely up the side of this cliff bring snacks <laughs> cheese sticks have become my friend they're the perfect snack they're low calorie they're delicious they're portable cheese sticks are are my snacking friend this climbing gear is awesome I need to find the last piece of this if it makes that much of a difference with two pieces I need the third piece plus it looks cool having a bandana I started wearing one on stream the other day because I got my razor bandana and I never thought I was gonna be a bandana person but I kind of honestly like the way it looks so maybe maybe I'll be a bandana person from now on you love baby bell cheeses is that the one that comes in like the the Pac-Man wax? Cause that is awesome. What do we got going on over here? Sketchy mountain stuff. Okay. Up we go. Ooh, dragonflies. Desert critters. Let's catch some desert critters. Yeah, the red wax. I, I really enjoy those too. I love oh, I hate my mic. Love the taste and I love the wax because it's fun to play with for like half an hour, so Oh well, he saw me. Ooh. Ooh, these guys are no joke. Okay. Um Let's grab some food. Ooh, guys snipe me. There we go. That's not good. Uh new weapon. Spear. These things are super tough. All right. I think we got them all except for the archer. But yeah, the red wax is like, it makes like a good 10 minute toy to play with. So that makes it one of the perfect snacks. Imagine the voice actor for Link, just a guy in a sound booth. Eh? Eh? Ooh, yeah. Being a voice actor must be a riot for some of the things. There's um a definitely not safe for work show uh called Ghost Stories that has one of the most hilarious dubs of all time. And basically they were just like, We don't think this show is going to sell well. We don't like the story, so go ahead and just make up whatever you think is funny. And we'll just say random stupid jokes at the camera to try and sell this show because it's not going to go well. And that ended up being absolutely hilarious. So if you need a hilariously voice acted show, Ghost Stories is wonderful for that. As well as, um, like, I couldn't imagine, like, uh, the Laura Croft games, like, Penny Arcade made a comic about it where it's just like, you know, today we're just doing the death noises. So you need to uh, make a noise like you're being eaten alive by a wolf. Now make a noise like that you've been impaled by a tree and are falling off a waterfall. Now make a noise like you're turning to solid gold and a demon rips you in half. Like having to do those takes must be hilarious and fun. 
As a troll level creator, I always have sage advice for my players. My newest one is you are never soft locked unless you're soft locked. That is the anthem cry of some troll levels. <laughs> but same thing with like the anime, like making the the noises, the the weird anime noises that you've come to expect in animes. But it's the same thing with like um you know when, when your character says yes in in a show and there's like nod their head that that's not good enough right they want they want you to f verbally confirm that you're saying yes and that's why you have like on all the animes where people are like hmm or hmm making those kind of noises because that's that's like the the verbal cue for saying yes to go with the head nod the other thing that uh, I totally forgot about but has got to be difficult is when you're doing a dub like not only are you saying the lines but you have to match the character's flapping lips so how do you how do you time that up perfectly like that's got to be a lot of work and probably rather annoying to try and match everything up if you want a really funny anime you should watch o edo rocket it's good and hilarious i don't think i've heard of that one is it uh dubbed or subbed emmy is really picky about what animes we watch so Dub and sub usually makes a difference, and the less fan service, the better. Dragon Ghost is here. Good morning, Dragon Ghost. How are you doing today? I hear music like something's attacking me, but I don't see anything attacking me, which is not good. How's it going this morning, Dragon Ghost? You think you watched uh, both, but you watched it dubbed? Dubbed is better. I'm one of those people. It's not, I don't have anything against reading subtitles, but you know, sometimes I like to have it on from uh, the background noise, and I don't want to have to read while I'm trying to enjoy the background noise, you know? They continuously break the fourth wall. What is this? Oh, this is another one of those, like, racing things. Okay. We don't want to do that just yet. Oh, a shrine. We do want to do that. Let us to the shrine. Doing all right? Really exhausted, though? Understandable. I know you've been working, and I know you had the uh, stuff we were talking about in the Discord chat, so I know things have been hectic. Glad to have you here, though. All right, let's do some puzzle solving. The K-No Shrine. Wonder if that's a... Uh, Shout out to, like, Kano from Mortal Kombat. All right, down we go. Glad to have you all here. You do love totally useless or useful in this case of just play better advice that we give. Power of electricity. Okay. Seems pretty simple. We put these things here. It'll power up the gates. Okay, so we're making circuits. This shouldn't be too bad, I say, as I jinx myself and make this a terribly hard shrine. So we need a key. We need another one of the little electric balls to move over there. I heard you can make some shocking results. <laughs> oh, one of those guys. All right, that was easy. Drop that down. Grab my arrow, because I go through those like water, and this way. Okay, this seems pretty simple still so far. I'm waiting for the ball to drop where it's going to get super hard, but this seems like a pretty easy puzzle. So this activates the conveyor belt that lets me go over here and get a chest. Does this have the key? Excuse me. The key. Okay. 
And that's what we are anticipating. Now, now's where it gets hard, right? Oh, another one of those guys. Okay, wasn't too bad. Grab the Guardian Sword. Okay, so we've got Electric Water. It seems to be that the cubes produce the electricity, so in theory, moving this over here will electrify the water, and we need to get it close enough to electrify the cube. Okay. So put that there. Grab you like that. Okay. Sounds like I'm losing my voice. Oh, did I? Oh. I shouldn't be losing my voice. Is it is it hard to hear me, or is it just something else? I mean, I do talk a lot. I did have a cough yesterday. I'm really hoping that I'm not getting sick, but I did have a cough yesterday. I chalked it up to allergies and, like, pollen in the air and all that, but I also do talk pretty much every single day, so... Hopefully I'm not losing my voice. As some people would say, that is the money maker, right? All all three dollars I've made streaming. <laughs> I do wonder what happens to streamers if they lose their voice. You can't call in sick necessarily. Do you just uh do silent streams or has has anyone watched a big streamer who's lost their voice? What do you what do you do? get some tea and power through it i guess was it the is it the the honey lemon tea that does good for your voice i think that's the right one for voice oh, i'm out for volley's gale again i gotta go turn in my uh points here soon i've got eight i should be able to get close to 13 hearts you can hear me perfectly fine but it sounds like you've been yelling and slowly losing it three dollars here rich i mean so, ooh, zap shrooms. What is this? Um, what? What is that noise? What is anything in this game? <laughs> um, someone was posting Twitch statistics. Um, oh, this guy has a lightning horn. Is that good? Is that bad? Um, they turn into ASMR. <laughs> The real answers. All right. We watched a streamer who powered through it. She just drank tea and not talk a lot. Um, someone released some Twitch statistics yesterday, and I assume these are true because they, they posted, like, the, the website was, like, officially Twitch's resources, so I'm guessing there was a lot of truth to them. And it was basically saying that... Um, the majority of Twitch streamers will never hit the the payout. That like less than one percent of people actually make the one hundred dollars to get the payout because you have to make at least a hundred dollars to hit the first level of payout. So three dollars means I'm three percent of the way there to being in the top one percent of Twitch streamers, right? So baby steps. Is this just a light? Am I being? I feel like I'm being dumb and investigating this light too much. Because I'm pretty sure that's just a light, but it's also one of those things like, I've never seen this before, so it must do something. It can't just be a light. There must be something more to it, but but what? What is the something more to it? All right, let's blow that up. A volt fruit and a palm fruit. Okay, that is just a light. We have confirmed the light is and all it does is light things up. <laughs> so there is nothing else there. Oh, Emmy just added something. Good morning, Emmy. 
I know you're probably working today, so you can't say a lot, but good morning. I love you. You mean the world to me. You are my everything. Probably shouldn't use that to open these. There we go. Topaz, Amber. Ooh, I see another shrine out there. I guess let's go to the shrine. What is that? Yeah. I can't place any more pins. You don't want to work tonight. You're always struggling, already struggling to wake up in the morning. I feel that. Oh, it's freezing out here. Um, let's put on something warmer. There we go. There are so many days where you just wake up and it's like there's got to be more to life, right? Like humans weren't made to just wake up and then go to work and then go to bed and then wake up and go to work. And there are so many mornings where that's just all I feel is that there's got to be something more. I wasn't designed for this. I don't want to go to work. And yet, uh, what is going on? That is not a good thing, I don't think. Oh, is that the Divine Beast? Oh, that's so cool looking. Nighttime it gets cold and during the day it's hot. That makes sense. That's very deserty. Divine Beast Van Naboris. You wonder if players would appreciate you starting on Troll Castle 44 today. Eventually you're going to run out of slots, right? Uh, Nintendo only allows you to upload like 30 or 40 levels, right? So at some point you're not going to be able to upload any more levels without like another profile or something, right? Okay. So that was just introducing me to Divine Beast. Doesn't seem like anything's broken just yet. Oh, you can do 100 levels. Awesome. Uh, Jariah's here. Good morning, Jariah. How's it going? You did not enjoy this divine. Well, it's the last one, so I got to do it anyways, <laughs> whether I enjoy it or not. Is it super hard or is it just not uh, not great? How's your morning going? It's pretty good. I'm on the work from home schedule this week, so I get to um, get to spend some time at home. I get to enjoy streaming in the mornings like I usually do. I get to hang out with all y'all. So that's going to make it a good morning to start with at least. But we are just talking about like the not wanting to go to work and being made for something more than just going to work every single day. And again, this is statistics that come from online. So, you know, take it with a, what is going on with that guy? Is he, is he okay? What is, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> is that a glitch or is that just him anticipating to hit me? Like, he is so hyped to hit me right now. I will uh, get the first blow. Some of your levels are easier than the boss of this Divine Beast. Oh, this is the Lightning Boss, isn't it? That is going to make it hard. Oh, I did not know he could do that. Okay, I can see why this guy's going to be a pain. These lightning horn guys are no joke. There we go. He's glitched. <laughs> but uh, so someone posted this statistic, and take it with a grain of salt because, again, online statistic, who knows if it's actually true or not. But they stated that uh, the medieval peasant had more free time than your average modern-day worker because the you know their commute was barely anything because there was no such thing as commuting back in the day. And they typically only had to work like five to six hours every like four days in order to make a living. And granted, you know, they're the living as a medieval peasant is definitely the different than the living now. Right. Like part of why our cost of living is so high is because we have these things that, well, there's the argument, is it a luxury or is it a necessity? Like, you know, cell phones and things like that. I'd argue they're a necessity. 
but so the cost of upkeep is just so much higher nowadays with the cost of rent and then you gotta you're not growing your own food so you gotta buy food and then you have all the extras and things like that so i i would buy it that we have less time nowadays than a medieval peasant would and that's kind of depressing if you if you think on it too long at work, they make me work with someone who doesn't help me when it gets busy. I used all my energy yesterday because I was the only one at the register. Yeah, uh, coworkers, that's a whole nother, that's a whole nother set. Of, I could rant about coworkers for hours and hours and hours. <laughs> but I'm not going to because someday one of them will, will watch this and I don't want to lose my job because <laughs> I need it. Because again, $3.00. You can thank Henry Ford for the eight-hour, five-day work week. Definitely, um, definitely one of the worst inventions of mankind. Not gonna lie, I'm digging that people are finally getting on to like the work four days, three-day weekends, giving yourself a little bit more free time, or working from home where you get less commute, a little bit more free time back. And here's the thing, and I accept this as. As someone who has a team, right? I, I lead my team, so I've got my own team. Oh, it's another electricity shrine. As someone who leads a team, I understand you cannot give me eight full hours of productivity. There is no way that someone can work and be at 100% for eight hours straight, right? Like, there's, there is no way you could do that. I could buy two hours of productivity here and then, you know, maybe 50% productivity and then 100% productivity. Maybe four, three or four hours of productivity, I think, is the most that you're going to get out of someone in a day. So an eight-hour workday is just a waste because you're not getting that full productivity out of everyone anyways. So, all right, so what do we got here? This one's called the full picture. We've got more electricity. Oh, do I need to twirl something so that... Okay, I'm seeing it. I'm seeing it. I feel like everyone should just work together. I work Monday through Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. However, after next week, they're going to schedule you every day. And Swaddle says, as a pre-K teacher, I went through eight assistants from 2020 to 2021. It was crazy. Well, I know the, um, I know the teaching industry is going to go through a massive shortage and that's mostly their own fault not the teacher's fault but like the, the administration running it right like someone said that they quit being a teacher to go be a bartender and they made more money as a bartender than they did as a, a teacher so that that right there would speak volumes to because you can't just become a teacher right you have to um you have to have a degree and a lot of teachers want to get like a master's degree right so you can't just become a teacher and then make less wage than you could doing, oh, oh, I see. That's really clever. That's really cool. So use the metal to, like, act as the in-between of the circuit. Admin sucks and pay sucks. Exactly. That, that right there is the issue. You can't have both of those things suck. You know, there's got to be some perks to the job. Okay, now I unlocked another barrel. This, this is a cool shrine. So now I can unlock the next one if I can connect that circuit there. Then grab you, connect this one, and then do this here. No, a little bit more. You have 15 professors who are quitting because they have a lot of hours and not good pay. You got to stand your ground now since you're new. If you don't do that, they'll help you out too. You could uh, pretty much make more doing any other job, much less stressful jobs. Exactly. Uh, Fast Chicken, hello. Welcome in, Fast Chicken. You here for the Breath of the Wild or you here for the chat? How's it going? Okay, now I'm guessing I need to take these to the other side. And unlock the other side. Always excited to have a new chat, new viewer. Always glad to have you here. 
if you've been lurking and haven't said anything, welcome as well. There is a link in my About Me to uh, the Discord. If you want to hang out in the Discord outside of Twitch, it's pretty poppin'. We talk about photography and business and art and all sorts of things. There's a link to my uh, TikTok if you want original content there. YouTube to catch up on old series, as well as a link to my website if you're interested in photography. Do you have a Dorito emote? How did you get a Dorito emote? That's pretty cool. Speaking of, my uh, custom emotes should be done here soon, hopefully. So y'all get some special emotes for being here as well. Okay, this seems to be doing something for me. But I don't know what. I don't think I did that right. Jariah has a Dorito <laughs> emote too. How do y'all get Dorito emotes? Okay, so this has to go here. So something's... Oh, wait, I see it, I see it. Everyone but me has the Dorito. <laughs> okay, if we put that there... No. Hmm. Okay, that wasn't it. We need to connect these two with this. <laughs> the octopus reaching for the food. So we need that like that, but... Because I need that cube. So we definitely need to unlock the cube to finish this puzzle. And this has to go here. Is it because the Dorito Locos tacos are back in Taco Bell? <laughs> okay, are we, are we missing? Oh, we can use the chest, can't we? Oh, very clever. This, I put this here. Will that work? Yes. Haven't they always been out? I'm pretty sure Taco Bell does that, like, fake scarcity thing where, like, at least once a month they remove things from their menu and then they bring it back. Like, I think right now are the nacho fries where it's like, oh, come get your nacho fries because the nacho fries are back for the, you know, limited time. So I'm pretty sure they're just masters of the fake scarcity. Which also, like, I get it to a degree because, uh, I mean, Taco Bell has, like, five ingredients, right? They've got beans, they've got sour cream, they've got meat, and tortillas. So I get why they can't have, like, their full menu available because, like, it's all the same thing, right? The, the difference between a chalupa and a taco is basically nothing, or a cheesy bean and rice burrito is just their bean and cheese burrito with rice added to it. So I get if they had like their whole menu always available, it would basically be hundreds of the same items. So I get why they continually drop things off of there and then continue them later. But, um, you know, when they take certain items away, it sucks. Ooh, we need to go get that tower. Am, I am too hot. Okay. We need to take some, some armor off. What am I doing? Here we go. It's all the same package differently. Exactly. Exactly. Okay, is that enough to drop? That is not enough to drop the heat. Oh, wait. I can wear this. This will make me immune to the heat, won't it? No? I thought this stuff made me... Oh, it's just fireproof. Um, what? What will cool me down? Anyone know? Do I need a certain food or... 
because nothing seems to be working. Or do I just need to hide until night? I'd like to try to <laughs> try Taco Bell's. Y'all need to watch the guy Keith Eats the Menu Taco Bell episode. I know there was someone who did a great TikTok on it too where they were talking to their mom and they're like, okay, how do I make a burrito? They explain a burrito. It's like, okay, now how do I make it? And they do the next food and it's basically the same thing. As they go through it, they realize that like a lot of those foods are like the same items just made slightly differently. I have to go to the village. Okay. We need to make it to the village first then so I don't uh, die out here. And then we'll go get the map. Oh, stamina recovers much slower in the heat. That's good to know. You have to try it at least once if you like cool ranch and flaming hot flavors. I know flaming hot is all the rage right now, but I do not know why they made flaming hot Mountain Dew. Like, I can't imagine that's good. Like, I, I will try it. I'm going to get a flaming hot Mountain Dew because... I have to try at least every Mountain Dew flavor once, but I I do not understand the the appeal of flaming hot Mountain Dew. Can't eat tacos or meat. That is a bummer on the tacos. I understand the vegetarian stuff. We uh, Emmy actually makes some pretty good vegetarian burritos that we've had a few times that are super delicious. I prefer burritos to tacos too, by the way. I don't like the hard shell of the tacos. I much prefer the the um, burrito. I'm not allowed in the town. Okay. I guess we're going to have to sneak into the town. Yes, I came here on foot. Feet sinking into the sand. Uh, it's common to use sand seals. Okay. Frally, I run a shop where I rent out sand seals. Interesting. Okay. You gave up a Mountain Dew. It's too much. I mean, it's basically sugar and battery acid, right? Talk to the dude outside the village. Can't sneak in. Okay. So I have to find someone outside the village. I have to dress like a woman. You've had vegetarian tacos. They taste exactly the same. I mean, the, the thing that gives the, the taco seasoning their kick or the, the, the taco flavor is a taco seasoning, right? So you don't need meat for taco seasoning. You can do that with just, like, beans. And, and Taco Bell is honestly great for that, for vegetarian stuff. If, they, if you just replace the meat with uh, black beans, like, it's good, just as good vegetarian food, so... All right, so we need to find some guy outside the village who apparently is going to give me the outfit to be able to go into the village. I'm guessing it's where that marker is. But I'm not 100% certain of that. Looking for someone around the village. Oh. Oh. Okay, you were right. We cannot sneak into the village. That does not work. There are some taco seasonings that aren't vegetarian safe. That doesn't surprise me. Never come back. Okay. Let's go around this way and look for someone to talk to. Oh, maybe it's this guy? This dude. Not a spy. A merchant. Okay. Research. Found some key info on how to sneak into Gerudo Town. Okay, give me the info. It's been close to a week now. The guards have kicked you out more times than I can count. Almost gave up hope. However... I've learned recently of a man that slipped into this well-guarded town. He's frequently traveling between Kara Kara Bazaar and Garuda Town. I'm waiting here trying to spot him as he travels. Okay. So this guy. 
Maybe. Remember your training. <laughs> Greet the Vo like anyone else. From Gerudo, okay. Wandering the world, learning what I can, seeking my dreams. I'm just a guy taking a walk. Okay. Still says talk to this guy, so maybe I missed something. Go to the smaller village down the path. Okay. So we just got to follow this path down. Sort of. Is there a path? I saw like another, is it that? Is that the village or is that just ruins? I'm going to get lost wandering in the desert. Okay, avoid the Liz loaf. I don't think that's a village. That looks like ruins of something. But it could be a village. All right. Home run smack that guy away. Yeah, that's not looking promising. Maybe that over there? There is on the map, but it doesn't show yet. Okay. That's the ruins. Okay. Grab the raw meat as it cooks out here. I know I saw something back here, so I'm guessing it's back here. Is she following me? I feel like she's following me. Okay, don't run out of stamina. Uh, we're going to need to eat some food. Um... Food. Meat skewer. Okay. We got this. I guess I shouldn't have a giant flaming sword out in the desert. It's probably only making it worse. There's someone. Oh, she's going on the path? Okay. Did you get a load of that giant stompy monster who'd brave the desert with that thing around? On the other hand, I gotta get to know those Karuda ladies better. I'll think of a chance to take a mad dash for the town. The Emporium is open. What have you got? Shoot, I'll take arrows. I'll always take arrows. Alright. That's not the guy I was looking for. What is that? Oh, bird. Talk to the innkeeper. Okay. So she's coming down this way. So this must be the town. Dragon ghost with the hydrate. as I spill water down my face. Wow, she's fast. Okay, we found, ah, the Karakar Bazaar. That is what we were looking for. Ooh. I wanna buy the bananas, but we need to buy the armor and stuff first. So let's make sure that we can actually afford the things we need to afford first. Excuse me. Have you seen a sneaky guy? There's a Hylian Val who likes to relax on the roof, though in the afternoon it's probably too hot up there. Oh. 
classic Legend of Zelda, accidentally clicking the wrong button, having to listen to them talk and talk again like that. Like that darn owl from uh, Ocarina of Time. Yes, I'm not allowed in Grio Town. Okay, well, you only sell arrows. Only one arrow? Literally only sells one arrow? Okay. We've lost law business since the Divine Beast business started. Okay, I can stay here at the inn. Oh, there's a recipe. Divine Beast getting a little closer every day. How is Graveyard Girl? From the sounds of it, she's probably busy this morning. She hasn't been too active in chat, so I'm guessing that she's been uh, having to work right away. Okay. A melon, rice, bamboo, and butter makes some sort of melon bowl. That looks good. I know we were both super tired yesterday. Long, long weekend of doing stuff. So there's a guy up here, but not during the afternoon because it's too hot. But it's 5 o'clock, so hopefully he's up here. So there is. Do I need something from you? Yes, I do. A man who snuck into Guru Town. I have not given up on my search. Yes, it would look very fetching on me. I will take them for 600 rupees. All right, I got my armor to sneak into Garuda Town. The music. <laughs> what is this game? Oh, and the desert heat. Awesome. <laughs> Shiny Link. <laughs> Watch out for the wind. There I go. Beautiful link. And I still have enough left over to buy the hydromelons. Yes. Give me the hydromelons. And the bananas. All right. And perfectly just in time, it is 6.45, which means time to stretch and time for prayer. Maybe. There we go. So as I uh, said, I still need to update this stream sometime. I need to uh, take off. This is no longer for Lent. Lent is over. We are now in the Easter season. But this is a habit that I got it playing at 6.45 that I really have enjoyed and enjoy sharing with you all. So we will do it, uh, continue to do it. Everyone is welcome to join in. Uh, no one should feel forced to do it. And definitely don't feel like you have to leave or anything like that. If you don't want to participate, that is okay. But if you'd like to, definitely feel free to join us. So here we go. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Lord, thank you for this blessed day. Thank you for all that you do for me and do for my family. 
Thank you for all the blessings you give me, and thank you for all the grace you bestow upon me to carry your strength and your will through the day. Today I pray for those who are homeless. Help those who are out on the streets. Give them food, give them uh, shelter, and give them love. And help us as their brothers and sisters in Christ to see them as people who need help and to give to them and give them the food and shelter that they need. I pray for those who are currently in Ukraine and Russia. Bring all those people closer to you, Lord, and through that being brought closer to you, bring an end to the bloodshed and the war. I pray for those who are currently missing or have run away from home, those who are out on the streets and have no resources. Lord, give them food and shelter as well and help to bring them home safely to their families. Help an increase in love to bring them closer to you and through that closer to their family. Lord, thank you for all that you do in our day. You are truly right and just. It is all this I pray in your name, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. All right, that means we're running low on time because I got to start work here in a few minutes. But luckily, my commute is 30 seconds, so we've got about five, maybe 10 minutes left. So not a super long time, but we should be able to do something. Is that one of those sand lizard things we can ride? So let's go get this tower. Maybe that will be our last task of the day is to get the tower. If you've been uh, hanging out and enjoying, definitely I stream every morning from about 5.30 a.m. to around 7-ish a.m. And that's on one week. That's week A. And then on week B, I stream in the afternoon. So I should meet any time schedule you have. Definitely uh, give a follow if you want to catch more of me. And like I said, there's a link to the other systems I have where you can catch up on old series. I did an all Badoof Pokemon run. Probably have other Pokemon Nuzlocks as well as a lot of Mario Maker. So if you're interested in any of that, definitely make sure you give a follow and catch up on all those previous series. It's enough time for you to get ready for school. Perfect. Ooh, I found a sword in the stone. I found Excalibur. No, that's just a rusty claymore. I'll take it. it. Says there's a shrine nearby. Somewhere over there, maybe? Down there? Whoa. All right, well, enough arrows wasted on that wolf. What is that? Is there someone hanging out on the side of that rock? Okay. This desert is just full of things that make me say, what is that? And I like that. All right, we're almost there. You're close to the statues for the statue shrine quest. Okay. I still need to go back and do that island shrine quest when when I have some time. I was so close to beating that one. So very, very close. That's a flower. <laughs> I would not have guessed that. Grab some rock salt, some amber. There we go. Let's climb up. Oh, might have to change my climbing gear. There's a stable that also has a shrine, and you're very close to that too. Okay, I definitely need the stable. So we'll have to find that. I should be able to make this. We're close. There we go. Okay. Close to the tower. Oh, let's ignore that guy. We don't have time to fight right now, so we're just going to keep going. Cover stamina. And floats. Let's 
I guarantee if this was not a Nintendo game, that it would be full of microtransactions, and some of those microtransactions would be buying different style gliders. All right, so looks like this one's going to be a little bit different. Oh, there's a bunch of wolves. And, ooh, that guy is one of those special ones that's got super strong abilities. And fire arrows. Okay, that's not good. Let's, uh, let's knock him off. There we go. Hit him so hard he dropped his bananas. Okay, so that looks like that's just like a sheer climb straight up. So we're going to need... We're going to need to make sure we get as high up as possible, possibly even for Volley's Gale, to make this work. Skulls, did I do something wrong? Oh, it's another one of these guys. I'll throw that guy into the Endless Pit, too. You can fly to it. Okay. Grab that prime meat. I figure the higher up I go, get on top of the mountain. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. We Rather than just climbing up it, we'll go as high up as we can, and then we'll glide down to it. So, like, over there. Oh, man. There are enemies galore over here, though. And they're throwing rocks at me. Okay. Over here. I don't think we're going to make it to the top of that tower today. Uh, disappointing. We're so close and yet so far. Those sleeping guys? They are. Let's see if we can sneak up on them. And critical strike them. Nice. That actually worked. I'm just going to keep throwing these guys into the endless pit. That seems to be the best play here is just toss them into the endless abyss. Will you be streaming tonight or tomorrow? Um... I don't know for certain. Uh, definitely tomorrow. Uh, I'll be streaming tomorrow morning, probably in the night. Maybe some night streams. We'll have to see kind of where the day goes. Uh, so I'm not 100% certain on those. But I do have to get ready for work. So let us save. Nice. And we'll end the ending screen. Thank you, everyone, for hanging out today. Thank you for the support coming out, hanging and chatting. Uh, once again, if you're lurking and enjoyed hanging out, I am going to be streaming tomorrow morning as well. I believe we'll be doing Breath of the Wild again or Pokemon. So give a follow if you want to make sure that you can catch that. Uh, it should be about 5.30 in the morning Pacific time. Might do a late night stream uh, sometime this week as well. But thank you again, everyone, for your support, everyone for hanging out, everyone chatting, and make it a good day.